big breaking news coming in. Stay with us. A quick word on uh, the inside scoop that India Today has when it comes to the petition filed by the Shinde Sena. India Today has accessed the plea that's been filed in the Supreme Court asking for an urgent hearing. In the Supreme Court plea, Eknath Shinde says that he severed ties with the Mahavikas Agadi government as they were going against Bala Sahib's ideals. Principles of the Shiv Sena, which is a Hindu Marathi regional political party, is being compromised due to unruly coalition of political parties in which MLAs of the Shiv Sena were suffering the most during the time period of the last two and a half years. The party and its leadership have compromised party principles with different ideology that of the INC, the Congress, as well as the NCP. The, in fact, we are looking at the plea now, very clearly stating, reiterating. Ravi Shankar, who represents the Deputy Speaker of Maharashtra, is joined by me, with me. Uh, so, there are two petitions that have been filed. One is, of course, challenging the Deputy Speaker's order regarding uh, the appointment of Ajay Chaudhary. And second petition challenges uh, the notice that he has sent to the 16. What will be your stand tomorrow in the Supreme Court? No, you see, it's not like that. Uh, actually, the, the disqualification notices will be filed by the party inside in the assembly, and the assembly speaker sends the notices. And they gave three days notice, asked them to give two days, their, uh, two days, and they're asking them to come and uh, answer before the court. And now that that, ha that already that is set in motion, and it, it had dis disqualifications petition should be given highest priority. That is what the uh, Supreme Court said. Because if, uh, suppose there is a uh, split and merger, see if merger is decided, disqualification need not be decided. If disqualification is decided, merger will go automatically. So, Supreme Court said only disqualification should be taken first. Okay. Therefore, Speaker will go ahead with disqualification petitions only. Uh, even if the Supreme Court is hearing the issue, can this Deputy Speaker pass an order tomorrow? Till the Supreme Court say this, that or something, Speaker is the ultimate authority and Supreme Court cannot interfere in Speaker's affairs at the interlocutory stages. Okay. And fi after the final judgment is pronounced by Speaker only, Supreme Court can interfere. Okay. Uh, about Ajay Chaudhary's appointment, what about that? That is not interlocutory. It's, it's, the order is already passed. What happens to that? What will be your stance? See, political party and legislature party are two different aspects. It, according to them, no, it is not so. Because both political, for, for one cap for political party, another cap for legislature party will not be won by any legislator. Both are one and the same. It is only political party. Political party will only decide. Political party will only issue a whip. Political party will only apply, um, and appoint the whip. That's all. Also, there's one issue that has been going around, uh, as Devdat Kamath had said, that the, these parties will have to merge. Eknath Shinde's uh, you know, camp will actually have to merge with someone. Uh, is that the only, uh, the 10th amendment, is that the only thing that is there? or the schedule, fourth paragraph is a merger, and the third paragraph was a split. And they are, they are claiming split. Split is not there already. Split is removed from the constitution. Merger is not, cannot be done. If they do merger automatically, they, uh, they will be disqualified because merger will be a defense in the disqualification petitions unless the speaker gets jurisdiction under para 6 of the 10th schedule that the, uh, the disqualification petitions are taken up. Split or merger cannot be pleaded before him. Okay. Thank you so much.